to is one of the popular places you hear of in Lagos. And our searchlight has spotted a community that seeks the government attention on a number of issues. Welcome to Community Forum. I am Sarah Yeku. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this break. Different parts of Lagos are experiencing development, but there are still some places battling with the thrills of underdevelopment. Agboyi, a nation river Rhine community in mainland Lagos, is an example. The community has existed for many years and is still largely undeveloped. The three main communities in Agboyi and adjoining communities are bound by the same fate, cut off from the hustle and bustle of Lagos. Surrounded by water, residents of Agboyi go in and come out of the community through canoes. Their major problem is the lack of a bridge to link Agboyi to other communities. Agboyi is a world of its own. Being cut off from other communities is a constant pain they have to live with. Ordinarily, from this waterfront to Agboyi 3, it should be a walking distance, but the lack of a Lincoln Bridge forces residents to patronize the Kano operators. We took a risky boat ride into Agboyi community. We weren't offered life jackets, neither did any passenger ask. We found our way into the community, walking through the narrow streets and lanes. Living with the hopes of a better tomorrow, countless promises of a link bridge have been made over time. Our first challenge is a motorable bridge. And when you look to this Agboyi tree as a whole, we have been existing here for more than 600 years. And then we need a motorable bridge, which we know that if it can be constructed for us, it will boast the three Agboyis. We have a land here. They come, the factory, I mean, the foreign people may come in here to establish a business here. Even the government can also establish business because there is a land, but there is no bridge. So people are fearing to come in because of a lack of motorable bridge. <laughs> We have over 30,000 people that are living in this community. Over 30,000, close to 50,000 people. Because we have Agboi 1, Oko Agbon, Papa, we have Agboi 2, we have Agboi 3 as well. And uh, with the population of people residing in these uh, communities, they are large. Some of them are even working very, from very far distance to this place, like Leki, Aja, Songo, all those areas. To the extent that all these uh, boats, that we used to cross people to paddle them to, to that, we are, that we are using as a means of transport for the people to cross to their place of works. We we have close to eight of these boats. 
And there are times they start work as early as 4 a.m. They start crossing people. And they will walk to something 12, or even if not more than 1 a.m. at times. Because when people said they faced a series of uh, traffic uh, situation and they couldn't get here on time, you know, and by then they get to this place around, around late time, they have to go back to uh, they go and sleep in their house. We don't have any alternative for them, for our people to come and cross them. This Okwagman alone, the population is over, over 30,000 people. It's an adjacent to Agboi. There is no, there is no road. We want a, we want a connecting bridge. Connecting motorable bridge. That is what we want. I mean, the, the government has promised us many times that they, they will do something here for us. They will do control the bridge here for us. Doing business in Agboyi is difficult. Goods are ferried by the canals at exorbitant prices. Accessing health care on this island is also a challenge. There is only one health center service in the whole of Agboyi. The health center here operates a skeletal system with few staff. Stagnant water done the entrance when we visited. The center we are talking about you has been constructed many years ago. I can even say maybe during uh, Jack and Day or before then, before, before then. And that only one health center was sited at Agboyi one. I faced, I, I experienced a, a noc, a, an incident. There was a day I had a nail on my hair or in, or in my leg. The nurse said I should write there to go and take an antitetanus injection. On getting there, they asked me to go and buy an exercise book to, to register myself. Ah, okay, I don't have choice than to buy it. After buying that one, they said, uh, we'll give you injection, but you're still going to buy, you're still going to pay 200 naira. Ah, pay again. Eventually, I end up paying 600 before I was treated and gave just a paracetamol. We need more than even one health center. If we didn't have a major hospital presently now, is either by the government or by individual, we need another health center. Function, functioning one, that will, be, that will work for 24 hours. You get If you want to treat any slight malaria now, I don't know, we have only that one. With this population of people, it's, 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 not, it's not okay. To buy the area to JFP. Only the boy who told you I got a accent hello. It's a la rushing one. For children and pregnant women, the risk is even greater. This is basically lower. Cause as we to ni la la la, I de tip polo wa fu joba ti pe ti pe pe kon ba wa che. Awa yoba, awa don be bi wo. Tu mo ba ku de kato. I want speak to la yelo ma help wa. I de chama gbe wo ti nu ako. Doctor, <laughs> We have lost many wives during their labor times. Because when they are labor and the health center here is not capable enough. So when as we are dragging them to carry them to the other uh, hospital or the other environment, we lost most of our wives. 
we lost we lost most of our children ko tu bo ro ma lowo kan mo nurse to wa nbe awon workers to wa be come as 24 hours i need the key job ajo kon ba wo this person e koko hospital la fun wa ni correct maternity la i need the kon jo kon to your lord dirty stagnant contaminated water in different areas opens up this community to malaria and other illnesses iba apanju pato o ti poju time 40 abi kan ti mi pe o wa ka kiri seyin tori iru ba yen ko da a fe pe keran wa lowo fun gbogbo nkan won yi ke ba wa se and when the rain is heavy the community becomes flooded because of its proximity to the river. Tagboyi is a river area. We are being faced with flooding sometimes. Because it do, it do, it do, it do come uh, once in a while. But whenever it comes, where I'm standing now, I cannot stand there. Everywhere is water. It's water. Throughout the community, the, the flood will go everywhere. So, but we are appealing to the state government to please to come and help us. So, in, make, in making sure that uh, the flood is reduced. The issue of this secondary school, so whenever there is flooding here, this is our primary school, our students, they, 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 sometimes they, they, they don't come to school because of the flooding. Sometimes they are, they are, their parents will even back them. They will carry them at their back to come to secondary, uh, this primary school. So we need the government to come and help us and attend to this, uh, maybe do some things to make sure that we don't experience flooding. Agboyi residents live in want of what they are actually surrounded by, water. Yellow kegs are a trademark here. Every house possesses kegs for buying drinking water. They have to rely on retailers of water who paddle their canoes to neighboring communities to get water. And when the rain falls, residents line their buckets outside for some water. There are however several water projects by NGOs, but the water is still not drinkable. Chickens have even made the wells their home. Oh me ye, I need ye. Little keggy call. 70 naira, 100 naira. Hello, me took over a lag by a latin lock more for it. Lang Batobara, and 70 naira, 80 naira, 100 naira. How to so far to my lobacmo? She wants about new me. So capable to my tail alone while I had to dip for it. Let's see there, allow me keggy come. Ever I see it, it's in there, I love you. It's in there, I love you about what she ever went to jet. We don't have any drinkable water around this area. For somebody who have close to 50 or 30 uh, that uh, jerry can. For you to, I don't know. We need water seriously. We don't have water. You can see we have a very big river here, but it's not drinkable. Even for some people who used to take their bath, it's a problem. It's a major issue. Despite the number of people who live in Agboyi, the community lacks a good sewage system. These corrugated iron sheets on stilts represent the reality for many Agboyi residents. When nature comes calling, Many of them take a dump in the water. The human waste is channeled straight into the lagoon. This is an ancient community, and that's the way they've been doing. Even the, even for, for 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 some of our people to even see something like this to cover up themselves before they can evacuate, I think it's another <laughs> uh, it's another innovation because unlike before, you just see them just stood on the boat, started uh, navigating on the, on the sea, inside the sea. But in the entire houses in this community now, we have just little numbers of people that, has, uh, that have uh, soccer waste in their houses. But many did not have. It's direct to the sea. Just few of us that have their own uh, toilet in our houses and their are soccer waste. Even to even park the soccer away at the end of the day, it's a problem. Waste from industrial factories diverted to the community have crippled the business of fishing in the area. 
se ba ri omi ti e ka na ton se ka kiri yen omi e ti ba gbogbo mi wa je de to ye pe awon e jagun o ya tori e gan lawon e jagun ti e se ti nso si mo tori ko je ke jagun le duro ki omi e tele tele ngba ta wa nke kere 1960 nkan kan awa ma bu omi yen mu ni to ngbe ba ngbe wa a ma bu ba ya ma mu sugbon ko se nto le mu sun te ba wa nu oko gan orun yen gan o da gbogbo kana yen ton dari si bi yen ko darararara pe pe joba le wa ri nkan se si kon dari esi bo mi bo jo sa ni abon le create bi to le je pe o ma dari esi ibadaju many residents here live in fear the lack of security is the reason for this you do have a maximum security there are a lot of hoodlums tout coming in from a different area in this coach affair after coming to agboyi community they can only refresh they will come in the morning come in the afternoon likewise in the in the evening after taking their whatever whatever they want to take they go back to their destination at the end of the day they cause a lot of uh, problems in the community we want the the government of lagos state to come to our aid particularly to be the uh, police post once there's a police post the security aspect will be okay security situation of this community is so challenging uh, often times we have called on the government to come to the head of the community uh, sometimes ago when you look at this environment you see smokers you know coming in sitting comfortably doing whatever they like and that is like a, a, a note of warning to the community because these people who come here to sit to smoke sometimes they go into the community without anyone telling them not to go in freely they go in freely and as such you know when this kind of thing continues it you know it endangers the life of the people in the community we don't know what might happen so we are still looking forward to this great uh, privilege from the government if they can come to the head very quickly we would duly appreciate this just of recent one of our boy was killed here i think we have a police patrol fan here or a small police post there i think that can easily cope the this issue of uh, this issue of uh, uh, criminality around the communities studying in agboyi is not fun the community has only one government school, a primary school, that is already too small to cater for the growing population of students. Elewe, oje elewe tu ekpe, obi elati one, two, three, four, five, six. Owa ni other side di longu. Ibi tu ekpe ko ba wamo morara, tu ekpe wamo manfu mora wamo. Tu o siya e lati joko, tu ekpe ayeshe man woko. So that was secondary school. To the Ekori Bay, Ani Ile, to only go secondary school. See, to my friend, secondary school, and what do? Back when we were there, we, our money don't work. We lost it, borrow. Don't lost it, school. Who can know what? Who can buy my food? What? Who can buy the food? Man, should be seeing what me. They will pay us. Our money late in school. I show one man to two. Some residents are not bothered about what development may cost them, as far as life is made easy. For any good work to come to anywhere, you have, you have to, to witness the other side of it. Even if it's going to affect any houses, let it be. We welcome it. Nobody <laughs> So called Joko to alone. This motorable bridge is very, very, very important to us. This canoe is not doing us a favor because all our most of our children that they're supposed to be in school, they're supposed to be at the working place, maybe they are learning work because of this canoe. And they know that they will have a money there, a daily money. So most of them ignore to go to school, ignore to learn work ignore to do any so because of this so we want this thing to be stopped and if the state government can make a bridge a motorable bridge for us this thing will stop our children our future will be bright 
because our children is our future. So please, we are appealing to the Lagos State Government. Away from all the challenges of Agoyi, children try to focus on other things. After all, life must go on. Will a bridge ever link Agoyi to other communities? Is help really on its way? Just as it is written in the holy book, hope deferred makes the heart sick. Residents in Agboyi town are awaiting the fulfillment of the promises made by their elected leaders. And that's our wrap of this edition of Community Forum. Don't forget, you can watch this episode of the program, previous episodes or subsequent episodes on our YouTube channel. You can also get in touch with us, interact with us, share your comments, invite us to your communities on the social media handles displayed on your screen. Thank you so much for watching. I am Sarah Yeku. I'll see you next time.